As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened. He saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. Matthew 3, 13-17 Although there are thousands of seemingly greater rivers around the world, the one and only Jordan River, of biblical fame, is one of the most famous and important rivers in history. Since the tribes of Israel crossed the Jordan River on their way into the Promised Land, it has become a symbol of a place of crossing over, of moving on to a new and better life, of greater purity and spiritual blessing. The prophet Elijah and his disciple Elisha performed miracles by the Jordan and added to the great sanctity and gloriousness of this humble river. The Jordan River became holy for Christians due to the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist. John called on people to come here and be baptized, cleansed of their impurities, and since then, millions of believers from all over the world now come today to the Jordan River for baptism, purification, and a spiritual new life. The original baptismal site on the Jordan River, known as Kassar el Yahud, the Jewish palace, once covered a vast area and was considered the third holiest place for Christians after the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. For many years, this glorious holy site was deserted, neglected, even mined. It became very dangerous for visitors who would risk their lives to go there just to touch the famous waters of this place. Finally, to change that situation, the Israeli government took action to open a small access route to the Jordan River holy site, thus allowing pilgrims to once again come to these wonderful waters. Yet unfortunately, 95% of the area still remained abandoned, mined, and dangerous. Now for the first time, in collaboration with the Ministry of Defense and the Holy Land Church, a decision has been taken to operate an official international fundraising campaign to clear out once and for all, all the dangers and all the mines in this holy area and properly develop the site for future generations. This historic project is being managed for the Israeli Ministry of Defense and for the Holy Land Church by Mr. Rani Levi Musan, who has been serving faithfully in Israel as senior consultant and intermediary for the Holy Land Church for more than 12 years. Additional details about the implementation of the project and this fundraising program will soon be presented in person by the official representatives of the project.